Hi, it's Borino. Welcome to the Borino Worldwide Marketing Headquarters. It's a gorgeous day today, so Sheila and I decided to hang outside and shoot the video for you. Today I have a cool interview for you. This one is different. A few weeks ago I got an email from a new agent. His name is Jazz. Check it out. Hi Borino, I wanted to take a moment and thank you for your help in starting my real estate business. I've just finished my first month and I'm happy to have 16 deals signed in the first 30 days. And the best part is that none of them were with my sphere of influence. It was all through inexpensive marketing. Being in Canada, I couldn't follow your systems the same way as the agents in the US can, but I did follow the way you communicate with clients. Your sales style was very natural to me. I don't believe in gimmicks and cheesy sales pitches to attract customers. I just show them that I'm an expert and provide honest advice to clients. I learned how to be different than an average agent. Once again, thanks for your help. Regards, Jazz. P.S. By the way, I watch your videos with my 10-year-old daughter. She finds you very funny and entertaining. So that got my attention, obviously. Brand new agent, those kind of results, that's pretty cool. I wanted to talk to Jazz. So I invited him down here to Washington, D.C. to my Listing Presentation Plus Live workshop. And after our session on Saturday night, we just set up a couple of cameras, nothing fancy, no fancy sets or anything, and I talked to Jazz. Now, before I show you the video, I have a favor to ask. Jazz is a brand new agent getting his business up and running, and this video will be watched by thousands of you. So please, don't swamp him and don't bombard him with questions. I'm sure there are things you wanted to know. So email them to me, borino at expartplus.com. And with that, enjoy my interview with Jazz. Today I have for you a special treat. Our friend Jazz was kind enough to join us today for a little chat. We're going to talk about your business, how you and I met, yes. what happened. Your story is pretty unique, pretty different from the usual success story I hear. It takes a lot to impress me, you know, it requires a special type of agent with special results. But what Jazz has accomplished in just a couple of months was impressive enough for me to, during our workshop here in Washington, D.C., to sit down and chat a little bit. So thank you, Jazz. Very no problem. Much. My pleasure to be here. Very much appreciate it. So you and I, this is the first time we met. Yes. You've been my client for how long now? I think uh, since about April. April of this year? Yes. And uh, you, you have pretty much every system I have, right? Uh, pretty much everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long have you been in real estate? July 16th was my first day. July 16th, so two months? Two months, yeah. Just two over months. two months, yeah. And uh, what's your prior background? I've got business experience uh, okay. in the past. I've never had a job in my life. Uh, never had to rely on a paycheck or anything like that. So, uh, I've owned uh, media companies, newspapers. I own uh, restaurants. I've been in movie productions, mm -hmm. Hollywood movies. I produce so various different things, stock market, like raise money for IPOs, all mm. this type of stuff. So, and always done real estate all my life as well too. My family, my uh, my dad is actually into construction. So when I was like seven year old kid in the seventies, you know, we were out there on the weekends building houses with my dad, right? Yeah. We didn't have a choice. We'd have to go and work yeah. with him, right? So I've known about real estate, construction, everything all my life. What made you decide to get your license, get in the business? I realized that uh, in order to make real, real wealth, that you need to have real estate and properties. And that was what my goal was. I have, I always give this example of an uncle of mine that uh, can barely speak English has no education and been living in Canada. He came with $8 in his pocket and the last time we counted, he had more than 40, 45 homes hmm. that he owned. They're almost all mortgage free now and this is something he can pass on. Everything that I was doing in my past was just only about me and what I did, but I can build a wealth around it. I could just Take it, if I just give the money to my kid, they'd probably burn it, right? It's always been that one generation makes the money, another one burns it. So yeah. uh, I really wanted to get involved uh, in something that was going to be around for a long time and last a long time. I did get involved in some uh, businesses that were sexy and cool and all that stuff, and I lost a lot of money producing movies, and but I got to hang out with stars and stuff, so that was cool. But uh, <laughs> I'd rather have the money, to be honest with you, right? And so I did that, stock market, tried to get like really, really rich really fast, and 
honestly it didn't work so I just came back to basics and just put my blinders on I said I'm not gonna focus on anything else I'm just gonna do real estate and not only my own real estate but build something relating to real estate mm -hmm. alone and that's it now just so got your license yes joined the company I got my license uh, when I was thinking about joining a company I always in my life I've always wanted to do something different mm -hmm. and any business I've always set to create or build, the objective of that business has never been just to be an average and just to get by. It's always be, be fucking number one, that's mm -hmm. it. What can you do to be number one? If you can't have that goal of being number one, then don't waste your time mm -hmm. doing it. So I opened a restaurant, it was a sushi restaurant. People are like, what the hell is an Indian guy doing a sushi restaurant? No! We got the best cook we could possibly find from uh -huh. New York and we opened the best restaurant in, uh -huh. uh, uh, in Toronto for sushi. And it doesn't mean I don't have to cook the food, right? right? I just have to know how to run a restaurant, right? So that's always been my mentality. So when it came to joining uh, a brokerage, I wanted to do something different. I just didn't want to be or another Remax guy or Sutton Group or all these other different, different companies. So I got together with a friend of mine that was a broker and uh, I told him I want to build something. And he says, come on board, let's do it together. Mm. So we started the company, created the name, we called it Experts. My idea, philosophy has always been be an expert. Whatever you do, mm. just be an expert at it. And then uh, the rewards will come. So we created a company called Home Experts, and uh, I did all my own branding, designed my own sign. Like I didn't need anybody's help. I wanted to do it all myself. It was, it was like it's creating your own baby kind of thing, right? So I just did everything myself. Mm -hmm. And when you do it that way, you have much more of a passion for it. Mm -hmm. And then it's a part of you. It's who you are, and you put your identity into it. If I had just gone and got the Remax card printed and I just have the typical thing. I don't think I would have the same same passion I would for yeah. when I created my own uh, business out of it. And uh, it's the results have been amazing. So we'll get far. to your results in just a moment. But first I'm curious, how did you find my stuff? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out there. Why Marina? Little. Uh, <laughs> I found your stuff to be very natural. Mm. And I do have a lot of sales experience in the past. And honestly, I don't think I'm the greatest salesperson, but I have to believe in something in order for it to sell it. If I don't believe in it myself, then I'm not going to be able to sell it to anybody, right? So that belief level was there. I don't believe in uh, doing too many scripted type of things because that doesn't feel natural. I don't believe in using cheesy uh, lines on people. That's not natural, and it's a turn off. Uh, all girls know when they get hit on with cheesy lines. It doesn't work, right? It's all, it's all BS, right? People think it works, but it doesn't. Uh, and I believe in having respect for the seller. Mm. I want them, no, give them an education. Respect their, uh, you know, the fact that they own a home. And respect the fact that maybe they don't know anything. So you want to take care of that person mm. and educate them on the process. And I've always felt in all my businesses that the more I can educate my client, the more in control they'll be through me and the more trust they'll have in me as well too. And that's the way it's, uh, it's, it's turning out to be that way. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I totally believe that. I don't believe in so making So you got clothes. the system. Which one was the first one? What did you get first? I actually got the expired plus first uh -huh. and I studied it and planned everything around it and then when I started real estate I realized that you're not allowed to do expireds in Canada so I was like okay. So <laughs> I was like there goes that but there was a lot of information in there that I said listen this is not a complete waste of time I can use a lot of this information that uh, is in there. It's kind of a unique approach of studying the material. It wasn't just like five minutes here, ten minutes. Oh, no. I... Uh, How, tell us, share, share. I watch, folks here in, in I watch every video. It was like morning, eight o'clock at night till two o'clock in the morning. It was like insane. My daughter knows Barino better than like so many people. <laughs> she's you know? a big fan. Of yeah, it. she's a huge fan. And uh, I got so my... So you really immersed yourself in learning it. Yeah, you that was what it was. It from the beginning. Yeah, okay. I totally learned it. The stuff, there was some golden things in there, and I wrote them down and wrote them on my wall and everything like that, and just totally absorbed all of it, right? Not everything that was there I could apply in Canada because things are different, 
but it didn't make that information uh, not valid or applicable. There's so many things in here that are not only to expire. This is about how you deal with people, you, human beings, and doing a business, and building trust, and having self-confidence. All these things mm -hmm. can apply to any system. And this is what uh, I took from it, all these things. So you immersed us, but how long were you studying it before you started using it? April. 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 I studied it. May, I studied it. It took me a good month to make my listing presentation, mm -hmm. which I worked on every day. Kept making slides, changing it, making slides, watching your video, saw how you did it, and then kind of applied it uh, to my own way. And, uh, and then things started to happen. Yeah, things started to happen. Uh, the f I was very fortunate that uh, from day one, even before day one, the first thing that I got was an assistant who eventually plans to get his real estate oh, license hello, as well, hello. too. Brand new agent. Yeah. Zero experience. First thing you do is hire an assistant. Yes. Well, hire is a different word, but I got an assistant. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, I, had, uh, I used to own an immigration company mm -hmm. in the past, and uh, I was very fortunate in that business. I got to travel all over the world and uh, been to like 60 different countries. I used to have offices all over the world and travel for that. And my partner in Latin America happened to get his uh, immigration to Canada. And he was coming on July 1st, to, which is Canada Day. So he was coming on July 1st. And he said, Jazz, what am I going to do when I come there? And I said, you're going to become a real estate agent. <laughs> he said, really? He said, I don't know anything about it. I go, don't worry. I know about it. I've been studying it. And we used to kick ass at immigration. Now we're going to kick ass at real estate. So you're going to get your real estate license. So he had his books even before he came to Canada. Mm -hmm. I had sent him all his uh, study materials and everything. And he's been studying. and. Uh, He's like, am I bringing my family with me to Canada right away? I said, no, you're living in my house. We're going to start real estate. We're going to bust our ass for a month or two months and just get off to like a rock start uh, start. And then once we're settled, make mm -hmm. some money, bring your family over. I don't want any distractions on this. Nice. So we started working from 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning till almost midnight every day. Just what was your first few days? <coughs> Give me your... Give me an example of your schedule. What would you do? Uh, before the 16th or after the 16th? After the 16th. After the 16th is uh, when the phone started ringing. We had uh, to create systems on how to actually answer phone calls. My guy, uh, Gaston, that uh, came from uh, Latin America, Ecuador, he had never been to uh, Canada before in his life. He didn't know the areas or anything. People were like, I want to buy a home. I want to rent a home. I need this. And he was kind of overwhelmed. So I taught him the neighborhoods. I said, this is how you answer call, this mm -hmm. and that. And we got within a week into a system where he was up 7 o'clock in the morning till 9 p.m. at night answering phone calls, making appointments. And I was on the road. I was just... I don't know how many kilometers I put on my car, but I was just everywhere and that I could be. We started off uh, because I had no experience as a real estate agent. I didn't even know how to use a lockbox, so I I didn't even know how to fill out a listing agreement. No contract, nothing. It was just like fake it till you make it kind of thing, right? So we just went we went nuts with it. I said just make as many appointments for for me as possible. I don't care where they are. I don't care what they want to buy, sell, doesn't matter, just make the appointment. So we just started rocking and just the results started coming right so away. What were the results? Share some of the numbers. Within the first month, yeah. uh, 16 uh, deals. 16 transactions. 16 transactions uh, in the first month. We had uh, the first week, we did uh, three or four leases. So renting homes and all that stuff. It's not big money, but it was. It was motivating enough, saying, hey, we don't, and my guest on like, shit, we could do a, a house a day like this and, you know, still make 30, 40 grand a month. Mm -hmm. I'm like, don't worry, there's a bigger picture, right? This is just mm -hmm. uh, baby steps here. So yeah, we, we 16 did... 16 deals, baby steps. Yeah. It's, there's How do you like that? And, I and uh, Do you agree? Okay. We just, uh, we continue to grow and the business started evolving. Uh, once it got to a point where we needed to do online advertising. It was all online advertising that I did. And I set up a, a call center in the uh, Philippines 
that that's where my second assistant came right away I have a full-time girl and all she does is online advertising for me and now I got a third guy in Philippines and all he does is all my graphic design work and all this type of uh, work any typing I need my presentation fixing anything I need I outsource uh, to there I read I read a lot of books uh, Tim Ferriss we talked about mm -hmm. a four-hour work week so I'm a total believer in just like maximizing my time and being very very focused and efficient at it so the first month we did quite a few transactions I decided after a week that we need to uh, start preparing flyers I got the flyers to design that flyer took me a month because it's easy to design but the psychology of the message you're trying to send and the calls you're trying to create and how you're going to handle those calls and answer those questions that took a month of just planning and preparing for all that and to be honest I only got a handful of phone calls from that but I know I was very prepared to handle those calls mm -hmm. and the listings came then the listings came and I said now what do I do I got a listing I don't know what the hell I'm doing right <laughs> so I went and figured out okay we got to do an open house what do we do with open houses well let's Marino's got an open house system let's <laughs> fucking copy his system right so just so let's go back to the listings then here you are brand new agent yeah. You were not the only one the seller we're talking to. Nope. So I'm sure the fact that your brand new came up. Yeah. How did you handle it? I told them I'm, d I'm different. And I told them, ask, ask every other agent what, everyone says they're the best, but say why. Why are you the best? What makes you different? And that's what people don't have an answer for that. It's very easy to say you're the best, but it's not very easy to back that up with a lot of extra uh, push behind that. And I challenged people. I said, go out, talk to five other agents who are very, very experienced, and I know I can do a much better job than any one of oh, those people. Oh, oh. You told a seller, yeah. I'm a brand new agent. Go out, talk to experienced agents yes. before you talk to me, and then we'll see if I want to do business with you. Yes. That's balls. That's, it, was conf it was confident. That takes a lot of confidence yeah. to do that. And what happened? They went out and spoke to agents, and they came back to me a few days later. And you got the listing? And he, yeah. Why do you think you got the I list? said, are you here to ask questions? He came to my house. Yeah. Uh, I built a really nice office in my house, and uh, he came there. And I said, are you here to ask me more questions? He goes, no, I'm here to sign <laughs> and get started with you. I go, great. Why do you think they picked two over experienced agents? I'm really, I'm really good. Mm -hmm. I'm really good. <laughs> you think that's confident? Yeah. I'm Actually, really damn. A lot of confidence. Yeah. It's, I believe uh, I'm good at what I do. Yeah. And that's what it is. I really believe I'm really, really good at it. So you get pretty good pretty quick. Yeah. So what about all these people who say, well, new agent, you know, it's going to take you six months to a year to get it off the ground. It's all bullshit. Do that's you know? just excuses. That's just barriers you put up in front of you. That's just reasons why. You know, 10% of the people do 90% of the work, right? 90% of the business. So the other 90% need a reason why, uh, why they're not successful. And people like to have excuses. I don't believe in excuses. Uh, just, I believe that, you know, you're going to put the effort into it. Just go, hit it hard. So you did 16 transactions in the first 30 days. How much money did you make? To be honest, I'm not really counting the money, but I think the total value is about seventy thousand dollars worth of worth, worth of commission. Not bad. But uh, I've gotten beyond thinking about the money only. I don't think about money. I've just gotten to the point where the real estate is there now. I'm developing my uh, offshore business mm -hmm. right now. I have a mortgage company, and I've told my mortgage broker too, get ready. Mm -hmm. I go. This office is going to be packed with clients. I hope you got people that are going to be able to take care of all of them. Mm -hmm. so, so let me ask you this, Jess. You guys watching this, you guys here in a classroom, you say, well, you know, either I'm a new agent or I'm kind of stuck. I would like to take it up a notch. What are some of the things you would say, do this first, do this second, do this third? What would, what would your advice be to them? I say treat it like a business, first of all. Make a commitment. Either do it or don't do it. You know, let the good guys like us do it then. Don't waste our time and don't be the obstacles and make, ruin the reputation of the industry. Make a commitment and be the best at it and then uh, the results will come. But treat it like a business. Invest in it. If you don't have the confidence in yourself, I had confidence right away. I didn't mind putting money on my credit card and jacking it up because no, I knew the results were going to come. I was very confident in that. 
so I invested in myself. I invested in the brochures, I invested in the flyers, I invested in my website. My website guy was pulling his hair out saying, you haven't sold a home yet, and you're spending a month designing your website. I go, don't worry. You know? I said, I won't have time to do all this after the fact when I'm really, really busy, so I'm going to do it all right now. So that Here's what I see, Jess. People watching this, and you guys may think, well, the secret is in his website, or the secret is in the postcards, or the flyers. Hmm. That's not really the secret. No. The secret is the way he thinks. You may not be able to copy, like Jess cannot copy all the systems I have, like hmm. because of the Canadian privacy laws, etc. But that's not the answer. Copy how he thinks, how he looks at it the possibility, the confidence. I mean, if you are not confident in your service, how do you expect the sellers of to Of course, be? that's all it is, yeah. If you don't believe in yourself, why should somebody else? How did you else? get so confident? I'm really fucking good. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm really, uh, <laughs> When you're good, you're gonna be confident. I don't understand. It's, it's something natural that comes, right? So you gotta become good. Become an yeah. expert? Become an expert. I know, market, know your I stuff, can dig up the ground, I know how a house is built from start to finish. You know, I've lived in Toronto all my life, I've, you know, wandered all the streets you can wander, I know all the neighborhoods, you know, everything, I, I know. I, so the answer it's is, an expert. it You're doesn't take a lot yeah. of time, a lot of effort. You have to commit and you have to go for it, run it as a business. What else would you suggest they do? I say invest in... Uh, in some marketing. A lot of the stuff that we teach now is after the fact that once the call actually comes and how to uh, how to go and talk to the client. But a lot of people get stuck on the actual business part of it is how do I actually get that appointment to actually happen. Yeah. So what are and your lead generation systems now? What do you use? I use, uh, I have a full-time person that does online uh, classified ads for me okay. and that's all they do. Do you generate you know, buyers? Mostly? Right now I generate buyers. Okay. I'm doing a flyer system right now to generate uh, seller business. Mm -hmm. And that I'll be doing 200,000 flyers a month in various different areas. I already have a plan within, within the next two months. I hired an agent last week to work for me and I'm hiring another one next week. So I'm going to have five, six agents working uh, underneath me to, uh, to handle all the calls and go do all the appointments. I can do the listing and everything like that, but I won't have time to go do open houses and do all that running around and all that stuff. So I'm going to build a team around that. So I think that's where people kind of get stuck is they don't know how to make the business yeah. happen. And so you have an online have outsourced company handling your online stuff. Yeah. What else generates your leads right now? Kijiji, Kijiji, Craigslist, everything. So far, I haven't even gotten into plan B of my marketing strategy because plan A has been really, really kicking ass. And I need more people to work with me to get plan B, C, and D going. So. Anybody else? No? Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Thank you for sharing all this. It's going to be interesting now to stay in touch with you to See how this is going to Oh, go. it's going to be amazing. You're just getting started. It's going to be amazing. You're just getting started. Just getting started, yeah. So the secret is commit. Commit. Set big goals. Yeah. Treat it as a business. Yeah. Make a plan. Stick with the plan. Stick with the plan. Immerse yourself with, to learn the stuff, really know the stuff. Yeah. Become yeah. the expert. Become as good as you possibly can. Be the best you can. Yeah. What else? Is there anything else? And uh, if you believe in yourself, <laughs> invest in yourself. Hire an assistant, you know. Don't create a job. I always find it really strange that people work for 40 hours a week at a job and they work their ass off to make three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. But then when it comes to real estate, they expect ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 checks just to drop out of the sky for them. And, and they get frustrated when that doesn't happen. But why don't you put the same effort that 40 hours a week into your real estate business mm -hmm. and invest in it? And if you have confidence in yourself, Man, your customers will see your confidence and the results. It's impossible for the results not to come. So just as a clear example, you can be confident as a new agent, you can be successful as a new agent, you can be wealthy. It's all there. It's all there. Every yeah. single one of you, every single one of you watching this can achieve the same results. Yeah. We've, this is the first time we actually met in person, yeah. right? You sent yeah. an email not long ago saying, yeah. thank you, I get some great results. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I appreciate that. And it was amazing, amazing information in there. If uh, you. you follow it and you commit to it. And it works. 
the result. It's impo it can't not work. <laughs> it's not. It's not possible. You got to really, really fuck up real bad <laughs> that the results won't come, right? And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, the only one you should be blaming is yourself, because you didn't put the effort in that's required to do it. And the cool thing is, you can turn around any time. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. What you see right now, what you have right now, can be turned. So it's yeah. You could have been doing it for five years and say, I'm ready to go. Yep. Yeah. And that's why you guys here today too. Yeah. That's what we're working on. Cool. Anything else? That's it. I'm sure we're going to be doing some more stuff in the future. I'm sure. So this uh, this is not the end of it. This is just the beginning of the story. Nice. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Let's do it again. This time. <laughs> <laughs> this time I sit on this side. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty inspirational to see what's possible and how soon you can reach your goals and dreams. I hope you got inspired. I hope you learned some cool new stuff. If you have any questions, email me. It's borino at expiredplus.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We had fun putting it together for you. And from Sheila and I, wishing you a lovely day. Let's go get him.